Welcome, seekers of truth and curiosity. Today, we're embarking on a unique journey through time and scripture. In exploring the divinity and pre-existence of Jesus, a biblical puzzle will unravel the mysteries hidden in ancient texts, questioning and understanding the complex identity of Jesus Christ. This exploration is not just an academic pursuit, it's a spiritual journey that invites us to delve into the depths of faith, history and theology. Join us as we piece together this spiritual puzzle, bridging faith with reason and seeking answers to age-old questions about the divine nature and eternal existence of Jesus. Are you ready to explore? Let's begin. Imagine a being existing before their own birth, a concept that defies our understanding of time and existence. This is the puzzle of Jesus' pre-existence. To begin unraveling this mystery, we turn to the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. Here, a profound statement opens the narrative. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This passage is foundational in understanding Jesus' pre-existence. The term word in Greek, logos, is rich with meaning, suggesting a divine principle of reason and order. In this context, the Word refers to Jesus existing with God from the very beginning of time before all creation. Let's contemplate the depth of this assertion. The concept of the Word implies more than mere speech. It signifies divine expression and action. The Word being with God suggests a distinct personality, yet the Word was God implies absolute deity. This paradoxical relationship highlights the unique nature of Jesus as both distinct from and yet fully God. The prologue of John's Gospel paints a cosmic picture, placing Jesus at the very heart of the universe's creation and existence. Another scripture that illuminates Jesus' pre-existence is found in Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 to 17. Here, Paul writes about Jesus as the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. This title, firstborn, does not imply that Jesus was created, as some might interpret, but rather signifies his preeminence and authority over all creation. In the cultural context of the New Testament, the firstborn son often held a special status, inheriting not only wealth but also authority. Paul uses this term to convey Jesus' supreme position in the divine order. These passages challenge our perception of existence and time. How can someone exist before their own human birth? The answer to this riddle lies within the realm of faith and divine mystery. As we delve deeper into these scriptures, we begin to see a picture that transcends our earthly understanding, revealing a truth beyond our temporal realm. Philippians chapter 2 verses 5 to 11 further illuminates this truth. This passage, often referred to as the Kenosis Hymn, portrays Jesus as equal with God, yet humbling himself in human form, obedient to the point of death on the cross. The term Kenosis comes from the Greek verb kenu, meaning to empty. Paul uses this term to describe the self-emptying of Jesus, who, despite being in the form of God, did not consider equality with God something to be exploited. Instead, Jesus emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in human likeness. 